And it is time to talk about the story of what happened last night. Someone tried to kill me. Oh, shut up. Put your vlog belts on because it's about to go down. Good morning, Jake Pollard! You guys are the Jake Pollard that is lit every single day, bro. Guys, it's currently 6 a.m. Sorry about that. We finished the 24 hour challenge, though. Are you not excited? Okay, I'll see you later. You know what they say? The early bird gets the worm. And we're getting worms, people! Ah! Wake up. Wake up. 12 seconds later. Yeah! Yeah! Steamroller. Oh Penguin. Penguin. <sighs> okay, we gotta go. Yeah, you do. Woo! Like I said, party people. We are on our way to Houston right now. I got my boy Ross in the building. Say what's up, Ross. And it is going down. I'm yelling. Houston. No, timber. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. It's so bright out there, man. I can barely see. However, guys, we got invited to a celebrity soccer game. And it's not just any celebrity soccer game. It's a charity celebrity soccer game. And you guys know how I feel about charity. It's the bomb. Come on, guys. Wake up. Paul, don't talk to me. I'm still upset. Oh, yes. Oh, we had a situation. I'm going to explain it later, but basically, like, no joke. I know YouTubers and stuff exaggerate things, but someone tried to kill me yesterday. In my car. Yeah, we'll get into all that. Oi. <laughs> we got some balls to kick, Cade. Sounds right up my alley. And y'all are now a part of this journey. You just became a Jake Pollard. Strap up. Strap up. We're in here. Since we are here, I do have to say one thing and it's ill. Can you believe this, man? If I'm not flying private, then I am pissed. What are they serving on our flight as far as food goes? I don't need my Gucci luggage to be like touching other people and like being like thrown around like a rag doll. Oh my God. Is this what it's like to be like normal? I don't know if I can do it. Peel here? I don't know how to do this. I only fly private. I'm gonna leave it open for you so they can put your priority tag on there for you. Make sure they put your priority tag on Okay, is there any more bags to check in? I'm just kidding guys, run, run for us, run. Run. I didn't even go on a plane until I was like 17, uh, but flying private is pretty nice. But the funny thing is, is all these people that are running, he's a vlogger. He's vlogging. <laughs> hey, vlogger. The mistake that everyone's making is they're all running through the airport. The fastest form of travel in an airport is the steamroller. Come on, guys. We're going to be late. He's right. We made it to our flight, guys, and uh, whenever I'm in a public place, I like to test this out. When you're in Ohio and you say OH, someone else is supposed to reply IO. It usually works like 100% of the time. Let's see if it works. OH! But I did randomly make a vine about this one time. And it worked! There's a lot of Midwesterners. Roll the clip! Oh! Ohio pride. But yo, actually, gonna be going home to Ohio soon for Christmas. And if you guys remember last Christmas, we started this tradition with Roman Atwood where we're gonna meet up every Christmas in Ohio and do something gnarly. If you weren't a Jake Puller then, I'm sorry, and you should be a Jake Puller smash the subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? No. But last Christmas, we uh, jumped a limo. <laughs> So, uh, yo, I can basically only imagine what's gonna happen this Christmas. Everything's bigger, everything's better. But yo, it's time for Texas. Hello! Texas! We're here, baby! We got a Jake Pollard! Oh my God, that's my boy! Yo, what are the odds that a Jake Pollard is in front of us? Oh my, my boy! What's up? Dab on them haters! Yeah, yeah! Like I said, Texas, we're here! Jake Paul, I feel like half of my life is spent in an SUV with a random guy. W what's your name? Skinner. Skinner? Yeah. Named Skinner or Albert or Carlos. Carlos! Or Ross, like, you got your hater blockers on, though. Honey, no! Oh, man! Oh, uh, everyone uh, in! <laughs> nah. The weird part about it, too, is that every like driver that I'm with and Jake Ball is like it's not planned at all every driver that I'm with is like good at vlogging it's weird bro uh, but yo Houston we are here guys in a little bit we're gonna be surprising 
families with a ton of like materials because families here are still affected by uh, the hurricane that hit and went through Houston. So we're here to give them like materials, put a smile on their face. Uh, there's a ton of other celebrities that are here and we're doing a celebrity soccer game as well for charity. All the proceeds are going back to like help Hurricane Harvey relief efforts. The Houston helpers are still out here. That's right, that's right. And once again, if you weren't a Jake Pauler back when we came to Houston, then first of all, what are you doing? Join the strongest team on YouTube. But if you weren't here, I kind of want to do a quick recap of like when we were here because it was, it was one of the most life-changing and humbling things that I've ever been involved with. All right, ready? I'm gonna pick you up. We'll get everyone on the back of the truck and then we'll drive out, all right? Okay. All right, buddy. Ready? This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Hi. We got a little puppy rescue as the first mission. I'm still truly humbled by those events, but now we're back to help some more. The city still needs our help, and what better way to do it than to play in a celebrity soccer game, bro? And a while back, we did a soccer trick shot video. Yes! We were playing with a USA pro soccer player named Stu. He's the one that invited us who come play in this game? Look at this, guys. We get to Texas, and they got cowboy hats on. Howdy, y'all. Oh, my God. Here it's it a full experience, bro. Skinner, we killed the game. Keep on blocking out those haters. And I'm going to keep on saying, honey, no. Yo, we get into the hotel, and I almost forgot that it's Dynamite December. And look at this gingerbread wonderland. Look at this, guys. Guys, in our hotel room now, and honestly... We're bored. We don't have anything to do for like another hour. A couple things though. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Uh, Yo, I love a good bad, bad joke. joke. I'll start it off. All right, ready? Does anyone want a spoon? Jake, what are you talking about? <laughs> People take things for granted. I just take granite. <laughs> granted, granite. Ooh, sounds like my cup of tea. Hey Jake, how you doing? <laughs> hey Kate, I'm doing great. You know, I really love those pairs of shoes you got on. Oh God, you're really blowing me away. <laughs> yeah, I'm really learning how to open up and compliment people. When before, all I used to do was whine. <laughs> bad joke. Oh no, we've got a bad drawer. <laughs> oh my God, is that Logan Paul? Oops, didn't mean to throw shade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Logan's probably watching this. How am I gonna talk my way out of this one? Sorry, Logan. <laughs> Bad jokes. So, Jake, your mom said you need to clean up your act. Clean up my act? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> How about you wipe that smile off your face? Okay, your comedy's dry. <laughs> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the best YouTuber of them all? Me. That ain't no joke. All right, let's keep vlogging. At the stadium where we are going to be playing tomorrow. Yo, it's a lituation. I'm gonna be another foot fairy. <laughs> Guys, it's time to get a little bit serious, okay? Right now, there's a family that we are about to surprise. A mom and a dad. First of all, it's their anniversary today and they have seven kids. Their house was so affected by the flood that they weren't actually able to like go back to it until like just recently. And there's actually this video of this specific family that went viral across the whole entire internet because of how like touching it is. This was a video from their house after it got flooded. Right now, just go get clothes. Get PJs, get clothes, and then I'll put it in this bag. What's next? I don't know what's next, but we're just gonna pray. We're gonna go one step at a time. We're gonna, Lisa's sleep is gonna provide you with new mattresses, pillows, blankets. Um, 
all this stuff you can see here is going to be for your kids. So, oh, is they going to come? It's just like it's so okay. You don't want, you would not want them here. Anymore. You might want to see what's in this thing here. Okay. We got a couple of presents and stuff. $1,000 gift card to Target. Oh so, you can buy that Christmas tree. <laughs> no excuses now. <laughs> 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 I can't believe y'all just took this time to come out and hang out. This is so stinking cool. Hello, I'm gonna come here. So I'll introduce y'all. Jake Paul over here. What's up? What's up? Hi, nice to meet you, Jake. Watch you watch him? Eddie Johnson, Dwayne Rosario, Mia Hamm, uh, Lexi Lawless. And what we didn't know beforehand is that they're actually neighbors. And uh, oh, yeah, you were telling me, I, I don't want to tell your story for you, but they both lost their everything in their homes during the flood. We lost everything. We kind of swam back together almost. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't been back. We, I didn't even know she was coming. Oh. <laughs> My first time seeing her since the flood. Oh, wow. But normally we see each other every day. Hi, yeah. bye. She helped me watch my daughter when I'm when she's outside playing and I'm in there cooking or something. Uh, so it's kind of bittersweet seeing her today. Yes. Yeah. She was stuck and we found the air mattress and we helped load her to the air mattress. And I was just trying to keep her calm and so we was able to float the air mattress to safety. And this is my first time actually seeing her since because I lost when we got her to safety. I didn't get to see it anymore. So yeah. Wow. We don't need an air mattress now because we're going to get <laughs> brand new mattresses over yeah. here. Stu coming in with uh, the mattresses, bro. Guys, that was so much fun uh, to be able to give back to the families. We're back at the hotel room right now, and it is time to talk about the story of what happened last night. Someone tried to kill me. <laughs> I think that... <laughs> <laughs> like we're joking about it, but actually yeah, my only way to cope with the entire story is laughter. Not that it's funny It just makes my heart hurt less <laughs> 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 what had happened was, you guys saw that yesterday I drove Cade's car. I drove it. I stole Uncle Cade's car. What? And while I was driving back to the Team 10 house with Erica in the car, we stopped at a stoplight. I want to I say I'm sorry, first of all. I can't be mad at Jake, because it wasn't like he was just being an idiot. But <clears throat> I'm normally an idiot. But we stopped at a stoplight. Some guys in a like big car, they pull up, and all of a sudden I see like a flash. Like they're recording me from their, their window. I don't know what it was. But like, you know when you just get an instinct of like, something's not good, like this is not normal. I kind of just got that vibe. Like the way they pulled up, it was like really aggressive and like, I'm kind of good at like reading those certain situations. We were about to get onto the highway. And so they're like, they're like filming me, like telling me like roll down their window, roll down my window, roll down my window. And I was like, I'm not down. Like I just felt scared almost like. It wasn't like and they a were like friendly yelling. Fan. Yeah, it wasn't, it, they were like yelling. I felt super uncomfortable. Um, the light turned green. As I'm getting on the highway, I, I realized that they're like following and they're like being like super aggressive, like trying to like get up next to me, like behind me, like going like to the side of cars, like passing cars so that they could like catch up. This has like happened before too. Like this isn't like the first time it's this has happened. So like I was like kind of like, I was just like staying calm, but like I don't like these situations because it's like, I don't know if someone's trying to hurt me or if like, I don't know, I don't know. But all of a sudden I'm like sitting there like looking straight kind of. I just hear a, and all of a sudden, the car like spins sideways, like a like a pit maneuver, like when a cop like takes out somebody. It was like that. So I got I get hit from the side, and I realized it was like those guys. My first instinct, I, I was like freaking out. Erica like hit her like elbow like on the side of the car, and like it was like super sketchy because we were going like 80 miles per hour. So like. I could have easily like flown into the side of the of the highway. But they do call me Jake Paul Jr. Anyways, I corrected it. Go like drifting to the side. Instinctually, I was like, did they just try to like, like take you out? Take out the car. I mean, I still don't know. <laughs> they just tried to do that on purpose. And that's what cops do to people, like to get them to like crash. Once I corrected the car, I was like blown away. And I, I like looked in my rear view mirror. They were like swerving like this. I'm like Cade's car, like this sucks. Like I just ruined someone else's car. I didn't know how bad the damage was. And here's a clip of the damage. That, those are the few scrapes on the rim. That one's the deepest one right there. The wrap is pretty, it looks warped, but it's definitely the paint of the other car. It was a darker paint. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. It look it looks like it's just gonna have to be like a new 
rap job a little bit and like maybe yeah. some down the rim but i'm just glad like we're okay but i come in i'm like yo kate uh <laughs> this is a classic jake paul phrase it's like i got good news and i got bad news he thought it was a prank at first and so i'm like okay like is nathan here first thing i think is is nathan here no because i fired him <laughs> you're fired seriously though you're fired you should be monitoring the camera like it could it might not even be rolling right you're now you're not even in the same room nathan so Nathan wasn't there, so I'm like, okay, there's no vlog camera. Then I was like, is he holding a GoPro in any part of his hand? Is there one in his front pocket? But this is still before he had told me the news. No, you said bad news first, so the good news so the good it news over. makes it better. I said, well, your car is... Well, <laughs> I crashed your car, basically. I crashed your car. And so at this point, I'm for sure it's a prank. And I go, okay, humor me. What's the good news? I'm doing great, by the way. And he goes, uh, Eric and I are okay. Oh. There was no good news, but we are alive. <laughs> I realized that he was, he, I realized that he was serious. This is when I started to believe that, that he was serious. Yeah. And he was like, but it's not bad. It's not bad. But it's not that bad. And I was like, ah! no. I was like driving straight. I'm like this on the highway. I'm like looking left. Yeah. And I'm like, where's your wheel? Oh, I thought for sure there was gonna be like a giant dent in the side of your car. So scary. Long story short, he takes me out there. It's basically just cosmetic, which means paint and wrap. But still, I let the kid borrow my car. No, I can't like dog him because Jake lets me borrow his cars all the time. But at the same time, I was like, it's so new. Yeah. And so I was just like thinking of like, the haze, what the video could I right. make? Could I make a video about leaving like, Team Time? Yeah. So my car is at West Coast Customs though, yeah? Yeah. 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 Don't you make a video about okay. me. Okay. I'm leaving this video and Team 10. Okay. Is there anything I can do to, to remedy the situation? Or? Yeah. Could you tell me where Brian lives? Who's that? Rice Cone. Who? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? It's tattooed on my arm. <laughs> The X's, they're tattooed, what? Guys, today's iPhone winner goes to Amy Montemayor from Pittsburgh. If you guys wanna win an iPhone, I'm giving away one a day for this whole entire month. Stay tuned, all you guys have to do is follow me on Instagram right now. Go to Instagram, at Jake Paul. Follow me for a chance to win an iPhone. I'm gonna be liking some of your guys' pictures back too, Dad. Copy yourself some of the hottest merch in the game, the status sweatshirt, amongst one of my favorites, guys. You're gonna look sexy as F. And I live for another day, guys. There's actually a really scary thing. Tomorrow's the big soccer game, and uh, I will see you then, because it's every day, bro. Peace. Is it on? What's up, Jake Paulers? Listen, guys, I want to be able to give you guys exclusive updates on merchandise news, things I have going on in my uh, life. Oh, if you guys want to be able to communicate with me, text me, talk to me, do with all of these amazing things, then go to text Jake Paul, me, <laughs> textjakepaul.com, which is going to give you guys exclusive discounts, exclusive merch, exclusive text messages to me. It's literally that easy. So go to textjakepaul.com right now, and uh, we're going to be chatting dabs every day, bro. Make sure you're subscribed to keep up with my life on a daily basis and if you want to see more content check out yesterday's vlog because it is super lit plus i have a second channel jake paul 2 which you guys can subscribe to right now and if you want to see more content from everyone in the house our group channel is called team 10 check it see you guys tomorrow peace